Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Epics for the Google Cloud Adoption Framework. So when you've determined where your organization is in the adoption process using that cloud maturity scale, then you need to define Epics. And Epics are work streams to scope and structure cloud adoption. Epics are defined so they do not overlap. They are aligned to manageable groups of stakeholders. They can be further, uh, further broken down into individual user stories. Uh, if you've ever done agile development, Epics and user stories are pretty darn common and you can definitely use them in Jira. So if you, if you line these things out, that's what you might wanna do. Uh, so we have this Venn diagram where we have uh, three areas. So we've got people, processes, and text, just broad categories of different kinds of epics. Everything within this uh, Venn diagram is going to be epics, okay? So uh, under people, we have behaviors, uh, people, uh, people's operation, uh, communication, right? Under process, we have cost control, incident management, instrumentation. For tech, we have resource management, networking, and then we have um, these uh, places where they inter intersect. So we have external experience, upskilling, sponsorship, teamwork, architecture, infrastructure as code, CICD, identity and access, data management, all right? So if you're limited for time and resources, focus on the epics in the colored segments. Uh, and since these align with le learn, lead, scale, and secure, that's what these are when you're seeing those four, okay? Uh, just to help that make a little bit more sense, uh, there's programs, and these are a logical grouping of epics that correlate to themes to allow you to focus on sp specific adoption efforts. So the idea is that you have um, uh, learn, which is for training programs, change management, so that would be uh, lead, uh, cloud operation models with scale, secure account setup, which is secure. And the idea is like, okay, well, there's these epics, how do I know how to write them out or do user stories? I would imagine that that's where you would work with uh, Google or the Google uh, partner uh, network to find somebody that actually knows how to go and implement this stuff. Because uh, I did find that the documentation was a bit lacking for this, but I imagine that there are people out there that have a good idea how to actually utilize this framework, okay?